Hello everyone, I'm Ben, and in this video we're going to be using my 2020's Remesh and Retopologize options to help clean up a hard surface object that I've created. Now this was available in previous versions, these features, but they were required to be accessed through the command line. And we now, on the Polygon modeling shelf, have the Remesh and the Retopologize, as well as under your mesh we have Remesh and Retopologize. Okay, let's jump into it. So here is the object that I'd like to keep, and it's just a simple pipe. And what I'd like to do is to go ahead and select all the items that I'd like to combine into one object that I'm going to subtract from the pipe. So I'm going to select them holding shift. And once I have them all, I'm going to go to mesh and choose combine. Now, once that's done, I'm going to, as good practice, select all the items that are going to be part of the Boolean and choose delete history and freeze transformations. Okay. Now, for the Boolean, I'm going to first select the object that I'd like to keep and hold shift and select the object as I like to subtract. Then I'm going to hold shift and right click and choose Booleans and difference. All right, so I've got the object that I'm after and it's looking good. And then I press three on the keyboard and I get melted ice cream. Delicious, but not useful for what I'm after. So I'm going to select the object and press one to go back to the object. So without a lot of manual uh, multi-cutting and similar work, this is going to be fairly useless topology. So what I'm going to do is press Ctrl D, press W, move the object along, and come up here to my polygon shelf and choose this remesh option. And what, what it's done now is remesh the object with these triangles that are set to a max edge length of one. And this is in alignment, you'll see, with one, an edge length of one grid spacing unit. So be aware, dependent on the size of your model, this is going to have a direct impact on the size of these triangles and these edge lengths. Okay, so with that, I can see that with the max edge length set to one, I'm not quite getting the detail that I want to get this curve or preserve this curve. So I might drop this down to 0.3. That's looking better, but we'll come back to that in just a moment. One other thing that I want to uh, just take a look at over here is how I'm getting the curvature on the inside here. So if I press Control A to bring up my attribute editor, we can see that the interpolation type is set to hybrid. And if I set this to linear, we get a fairly similar result, but it's a little bit more popped up. So this is going to work quite well on um, hard surfaces that are more angular and with less curvature. And you can see that cubic is actually going to give me a somewhat inflated look in this object. And so what I'm going to do is go back to hybrid. That is a mix of the two because I really like this curvature when it's set to hybrid. All right, coming back up here, we can see that I don't quite have enough um, detail to capture this curvature. So I'm going to drop my max edge length to 0.2 and say that I'm satisfied with that. Excellent. Let's turn up this grid. And I'm going to press Control D, move this along by pressing W on the keyboard. And now with this, I'm going to go and up to my mesh, I'm going to retopologize it. And I want to dial in the settings. By default, it's set to 1. So if I press apply, we can see the result of that. And this is probably a good place where you can see that it's it's quite soft, but we've got a clean usable mesh and we just need to go and perhaps tighten up some of these edges here. So very handy. And if you're in a rush, maybe and you don't care so much about your poly count, you could dial something in like 20,000 and get uh, another result that perhaps save you any actual manual labor but uh, would be useful if you're doing some rapid concepting or prototyping, depending uh, if you've got to have any deformation or something like that in an animated rig system. Okay, so there it is. I hope that helps. I think that's looking quite good, especially for the time spent. And I'll see you in another video.